It's from Portland, Oregon. My alarms were on silent. You got it. Today was so stressful and intense and just mentally draining. A little tiny baby thread underneath my flap of my cord. <laughs> Average work week in my life. week in the life of an auditor video so today is monday it's january 6th and i haven't seen my co-workers since before christmas so i'm kind of excited about work today just you know so we can all catch up on how our holidays went and whatnot i've been working every work day because i didn't take any leave because i need my leave for my africa and israel trips so i've been working like the random days in between the holidays after the holiday the day here day here so it's gonna be a full week this week we have a lot to do we have an agreed upon procedures engagement and the report is due january 15th so that's next week so this week we're gonna be like full steam ahead getting some stuff done so it should be a good week I also I, I woke up great I only slept for like four hours and I just woke up with energy I'm motivated so hopefully that can stay throughout this week all right you guys I'm off work it is only 3 45 so I had no traffic blue skies it's like 50 something degrees out in January living life okay so I'm gonna stop at the post office and check my PO box the only problem is it is slammed i'm getting anxiety <laughs> let me go i'm sorry thank you <laughs> okie dokie art the jokey let's see if i got some postcards i probably got a bunch of junk mail Ooh. oh my goodness you guys did you see how much stuff i just pulled out of my p.o box I could literally cry, I'm so excited. I can't wait to get home. All of these postcards came from you guys. Guys, I just cannot get over it. Look at all the postcards you guys sent. So now I get to hang them all over my postcard wall. So excited, thank you so much. All right guys, so here's the deal. It's Monday, I have like three videos I need to edit. Problem is, recently my laptop decided it gives up, it's no longer gonna handle the editing software. But every video I do, it gets slower and slower and slower. So my mom looked at it and she thinks that she found a temporary fix for me so i'm gonna try and edit tonight and we'll see if i'm successful that's today's plans such an exciting monday don't you think oh that's hot oh girl so in order to get in my edit mode i usually make a cup of coffee today it's gonna be tea because it's the evening so i got some herbal tea so i don't you know stay up all night with some caffeine i usually grab a little snack today it's pepperonis turkey pepperonis i light a candle because i like the scents i play some music but it's actually on mute so i don't get any copyright at the moment and i figure out all of these problems that my software is having <laughs> That's not usually typical, but we're trying something new. So if you guys are watching this video right now, that means I figured out a problem to my editing issue. So yeah, good job future heaven. Current heaven is struggling. You guys have probably already seen this. This is my thrifting video. And if you see this vase back here, right there, in my background, yeah, there's a story behind that. So watch my thrifting video. All right, my video crashed, so it's a good time to make some din din. It did work for a good solid two hours though, so I ain't complaining. So this is probably the weirdest dinner combination ever, but that's the best thing about living by yourself, cooking for yourself. You can eat it any time of day, it's amazing. So I'm gonna make some green beans with some butter. I'm gonna make some scrambled eggs, or a scrambled egg. And I'm gonna put some sweet potatoes in the oven. Dinner is served. These are fresh green beans from the produce section. They're so good. I can't do canned green beans. They're nasty. And this toast is basically my dessert. It's some butter with cinnamon on it. I'm drinking a nice glass of some cranberry juice mixed with raspberry juice. Y'all, that was so good. I might continue editing this video and probably head up to bed at about 9, take a shower. It's 7.30 now, so it's been a good day. No complaints here. Hey fam, good morning. Funny story. I didn't go to sleep until after midnight last night. I had my alarm set at 4.45 and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to get any sleep. I'm going to be exhausted in the morning. But I wanted to get a long day in today just to go ahead and stack up my hours at the beginning of the week. Maybe have a short Thursday, maybe not work Friday. You guys see my plan? Okay, well, I woke up and um, the sun was up. So yeah, it's 7.30. I plan to leave the house at 6.30 at the latest to get there by 7 today. Life is full of random surprises, I tell you. I think the Lord knew I needed some sleep and I need to quit doing this to myself. Getting to work super early when I didn't sleep worth the crap. So here we are, 
So yeah, apparently my alarms were on silent. How's that gonna wake me up? I don't know. So either I mess around with the sound before I went to bed, which I've done before, or I literally turn down the sound in my sleep, which I've also done before. If I had a job where you actually had to be at work at a certain time and you couldn't just roll in whenever you felt like it and worked your hours, I would have to invest in an actual alarm clock because I cannot trust what I do to my phone in my sleep. I've turned it off so many times. And you guys know if you've seen my work vlogs because I swear every time I do a week in my life, I end up turning off my alarm one day of the week, which literally only happens about probably once a month. Yet every time I get the camera out, here I am at like 7.30. So yeah, I should get to work by about 8.15. It's gonna be a little later because of rush hour, plus a lot of the schools came back. But yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it. It'll be fine. Either I'll work a long day and be there all night, or I'll just leave at normal time and just say, hey, it was a short day. We'll see what happens, we'll see. So yeah, packing my lunch, gonna grab a granola bar for breakfast. I'm not gonna worry about making a coffee. I don't have time for that, but I'll make coffee when I get to work. All right, I'll see y'all later. Currently fighting rush hour and rain. It's fine. It's okay. I'll get there when I get there. I should have brought dinner for everybody. Not a bad day. Not a bad day. As you can tell, it's still sunny outside. I did not work a long day. I was going to suck it up and just get my hours in, but I decided, you know what? I'm just going to work Friday. So yeah, we work 37 and a half hours a week. We can stack those up and work 10, 10, 10, 7 and a half or whatever we want to do to fit the 37 and a half and have Fridays off, get three day weekends. A lot of my coworkers actually work Tuesday through Friday and take their Mondays off. I feel like we're having some deja vu because just a couple of clips ago, I put you guys on my coffee pot and I was over here in the freezer. It's coming full circle. I'll put the freezer packs back. I'm just gonna work some shorter days, get more evening. Plus I am seriously trying to get this thrifting video edited and I'm having so many computer problems and it's just irritating. So I'm hoping to do some of that tonight. Also, I may be getting dinner with Lonnie. So I can't really change clothes yet until I find out if she wants to get dinner or not. She hasn't texted me back yet. When she texts me back, we'll either be in PJs or we'll go get some din din. You guys wanna go check my mail with my scooter? Let's do it. All right guys, let's go. Mailbox, scooter. Okay, let's go back. Editing setup, creepy clown, <laughs> candle. Music. Well, it's an ad currently. My tea, some water, and this is gonna be my snack until I find out about dinner. Well, I ended up having to work late tonight, so it is a little after seven. I have been editing, and knock on wood, this video has not crashed yet. So for dinner, I just reheated some green beans and sweet potatoes from last night. Yes, those are two side items. I don't have a main course. It's fine. I'm not really hungry, so that'll be okay. With some orange juice, I still have some tea and water. RIP my base. You guys, I am home before three o'clock. That is crazy. I only work a seven and a half hour day since I decided I'm gonna work Friday. So I'll have 13 hours left to work this week to get to 37 and a half. So I can do like a 10 tomorrow, three on Friday, six tomorrow, seven on Friday. There's a lot of possibilities. <laughs> what am I gonna do with all this free time, you wonder? You guys guessed it. I'm gonna finish editing that video and hopefully get it up today. That's the goal. I apologize, this has been the most boring week in my life video ever. Like computer problems, editing this video for four days straight, and I haven't talked at all about work. So in case you're curious, this is our last official week on the audit. We have been on this audit for six months. We all came to this audit in July, so about six months. We're actually done with the financial audit. We finished that before Christmas, and then we start an agreed upon procedures. And then that's due next week, next Wednesday. So we're wrapping it up now, and there's like six of us on our audit team and it's kind of a really bittersweet time because one, we're done with busy season so we don't have to work a ton of hours, but two, we are such a close-knit, like family-oriented audit team. Like we hang out after work all the time. In fact, tonight I'm going rock climbing with one of my coworkers. So we're a real close-knit group. So having all of us like split up to go to different audits for the whole spring is kind of sad, but then we all get to come back together and next fall for the same audit. And that's if all of us are coming back, but you never know. You never know what the schedule's gonna put out. We never really know what audit we're gonna be on, but 
but you kind of get an idea. <laughs> so anywho, yeah. Today was just kind of a funny day in general. Because of the holidays and then people being sick, people taking vacation, it's kind of been just like a scramble of trying to get this last little agreed upon procedures done. So we've ended up all working on the different sections of this thing. Usually we all just have our work and we just work on our work and no one else works on it. Then we sign off on it and it's done. But we've really had to communicate well because only one person can be in each work paper. Only one person can be in the audit program to make changes. So we've all been like, hey, you get out of this. Hey, you get out of this. Hey, add this in here. Can you look at this real quick? Did you do this already? Why am I having to do this again? So this is hilarious because there's like six of us working on the same exact section of the audit just due to different things. But that's not typical. So yeah, pretty boring accountant life. Third day in a row editing, and today we have computer pizza because I was craving pizza and some Powerade. All right, guys, I finally got the thrifting video edited and uploaded. I just uploaded it, and I'm running like 15 minutes late for rock climbing. And I know not a lot of people are gonna watch the thrifting video. I probably won't get a lot of views, but I spent so much time editing that video, and I love it so much, but it's not CPA related, so whatever. <laughs> All right, let's go rock climbing. got back from climbing it is 9 15 my arms are literally jello i climbed way more than i usually do very proud of myself that frozen pizza is long gone in my system so i'm gonna heat up some broccoli have some broccoli and cheese it's a really random late night quick dinner i don't know i'm just really craving some greens you know very proud of us climbing. We did like probably eight to 10 walls, like the whole way up, each of us. And we usually do like maybe four or five. And then there's a bouldering room. And I love the bouldering room. But it was so crowded tonight that we were like, let's just climb and see how far we go. And we literally climbed so much, so. So I'm gonna go take a shower and hopefully fall asleep. And then hopefully work a long day tomorrow. But so I don't have to work long on Friday. I'm gonna eat a snack while I'm waiting for my food to cook. Oh. Mm. Literally 9.30. <laughs> this is just what I was craving, you know? What's up, you guys? I just got home from work. It's Thursday. I did not vlog this morning because I was so tired. I was barely a human, to say the least. I went to bed late, didn't get much sleep, and OMG. <laughs> this is a very accurate representation of a work week in my life. A lot of days are great. Good examples, Monday through Wednesday. Today was so stressful and intense and just mentally draining. It didn't help that I was so exhausted, which is my own fault. I just did not get enough sleep. I just have not slept well in several days. <sighs> and I had so many phone calls and so many like little tiny minor problems that I had to fix, but just like so many. <laughs> it's just, at one point you're like, does this really matter? Like, why am I having to do this? But there are a lot of days like that. It's just part of life. Luckily for me and my job, there's not really a lot of super bad days. And today wasn't a super bad day, it was just challenging. And I think that's healthy. You don't want a job that's like too easy or too comfortable. You wanna be challenged in your career and you wanna feel pushed, you wanna live with purpose. I think it's definitely good for your character development, growing as a person. And that's what I saw today as an opportunity. There were a lot of points where I was just really annoyed and frustrated, not only things are going on, but also with myself, because I'm tired, honestly, and wore out mentally but i knew it was making me a better auditor to have these challenging questions and test work that i've never done before that i've never seen that i had to do over <sighs> and i had this massive headache that i just developed about 10 minutes ago and i don't know where it came from probably lack of water could be too much coffee could just be the traffic on the way home stressing me out and i didn't eat lunch today which is not helping it's literally 5 30 and i have not eaten since breakfast i had a couple snacks it's not that i didn't have time to eat i just kind of forgot i was so busy with work i just didn't even think about eating lunch so i'm like starving to death so i'm gonna make a smoothie real quick and then figure out what i'm gonna do for dinner and i may literally crash go to bed at like six what in the world how the
right now we're gonna add some broccoli because why not? <laughs> Alright y'all, I bring you a random green apple spinach broccoli oats yogurt cranberry orange juice smoothie. Y'all, that's actually good. I just got a taste of broccoli and I don't hate it. Wow. Alright, I'm gonna take a nap before I die. Honestly, you guys have to eat before I die, not sleep. So I'm eating some turkey pepperonis and I had a peanut granola bar and my power green smoothie. Y'all, this is delicious. I'm gonna start adding broccoli to all my smoothies. Good morning, you guys. Just kidding. It's still whatever day it was last time I talked to you. It is uh, 9.45 p.m. So I slept for about three hours in my work clothes. Oh, I about showed you guys too much. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, still have my makeup on. I've probably slept in my makeup one other time in my life. Don't sound too impressed though. I just never wear makeup, that's a secret. This should be my new thumbnail. Average work week in my life. Looks dead. <sighs> I actually laid there for like 10 minutes after I've been awake, just trying to process my next move. Does food just come out of my mouth? All right, fam, I'm gonna go take a shower, put on some pajamas, and go to bed. <laughs> So good morning and good night. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. It's Friday, TGIF. I do not remember what I told y'all yesterday when I got home from work and my extreme sleepiness and frustration from the work day. But I was supposed to work three hours today to finish up my 37 and a half hour week. However, my eye doctor called. It was like, we're here to confirm your appointment for tomorrow morning. I was like, shoot day. Yeah, I'll be there. Totally forgot about it. I definitely would have stacked up my hours earlier in the week if I remembered my appointment. So I ended up getting for an eye appointment my follow-up with LASIK so I'm about to leave for that right now I slept like nine hours last night on top of that three hour nap yesterday I'm feeling great I'm also really sore and I don't know if it's from rock climbing the other day or from sleeping so much in case some of you are worried about what happened for dinner last night with those random foods I actually ended up making a whole plate of broccoli at like 10 something last night so that's what I ate before bed I'm so weird. All right, let's get to my eye doctor appointment. Eyes are looking good post LASIK. This was my month follow-up appointment. And when he got up close and personal on my right eye, he found a little tiny baby thread, like, you know, a piece of string, underneath my flap of my cornea. <laughs> it's not gonna affect vision in it, unless it moves, which he doesn't expect it to move. Worst case scenario, it does move and he has to like cut it back open and pull this little thread out. I told him, I said, you gotta be unique somehow in this world. There's billions of people. <laughs> so that's funny. Also, I thought this appointment was gonna last like 10, 15 minutes and it's been an hour. So I'm gonna go pick up my grandma's prescription for her, run and get a bagel from Panera and then go visit my grandma. I literally told her I was gonna be there 30 minutes ago, but it is one of those. Got the prescription, got my bagel. It smells like cinnamon in there. It smells so good. Y'all, I'm definitely gonna use that thread under my eyes. Any excuse if I can't see something, I'm like, sorry, I got thread under my eye. <laughs> also, one of my high school friends works at this Panera. I did not know that. So I got to chat with her in the drive-thru. All right, guys, I'm back home. It's almost one o'clock. It's been a good morning. And me and grandma got to chatting about everything. I love catching up with her. She cracks me up. She's camera shy, so she didn't want to be in the vlog. Understandable. <laughs> I'm sorry this week was like so lame. It was definitely an average week, but usually I hang out with Lonnie at some point after work, but she took off to Texas yesterday and she did, couldn't have dinner the other night. And then I was supposed to go to Nashville for work on Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday for a training. And that got canceled because we had a lot of work to do to catch up on. So I didn't get to go to that. And then I was gonna join kickboxing this week because I gotta do that. But I was not feeling motivated for that this week. We'll try again next week. So everything just kind of fell through the cracks. Plus it was a very intense week. A lot of work got done, which is great. And it was a good week. It was just mentally draining. So it's probably good that I chilled out and rested some. But anywho, that's all I have for you guys. Probably just gonna go to my parents' house, hang out with them today, play with the dogs, hang out with my little niece cause she's cute as a button and she's growing up so fast. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for joining along on an average week as a state auditor. All right, goodbye.